Mum's coming round to pick it up later. Why didn't you tell me about it, Mum? I'm sorry, love. I knew Brenna wouldn't leave us alone until she got it, but I didn't want to pile any more worry onto you. You've been through enough. And so have you. You and me are together in all this. So next time there's a problem, I want you to tell me, OK? Well, let's hope there'll be no more problems once Brenna's got that ring. So, today's the day, eh? What time do they say you could go in and get your exam results? Any time after ten. Oh, we have done fine. God, I hope so. All right, well, see you then. Yeah, see ya. Michael, I'm gone. Not that, like Jess. Guess what? Bev came round to ours last night. But she came looking for me, Dad. No, she came to tell me that she's having an abortion. Good. Well, does my dad know anything about this? No. Well, let's keep it that way, eh? You've probably seen the states of him since she's dumped him. Will you get over it, won't you? Listen, Jackie, just keep your gob shut and let her get on with having the abortion, OK? Yeah, OK. Well, that was great, that. Is that what they have for brekkie in Poland every day? People are used to a little less now. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, breakfast, I mean, it's just... Well, I can't be bothered cooking myself something like that, you know, cos I'm on my own. Don't you and Barry eat together when he's here? Ah, oh, well, he's always sleeping in late, isn't he? You know what I'm working late in that in a nightclub. Listen, uh, thanks for staying and everything. Well, like you said, it's nice to wake up with somebody once in a while. Even though we are both independent types. Uh, look, I don't know how... I know it's extra for you staying over and that. I'm not sure there is actually a going rate for sleeping with somebody. Well, if there isn't enough there, just let me know, eh? And uh, don't worry about the dishes and that. I'll clean them up when I get home from work. Doesn't it ever get lonely coming back to an empty flat on your own? Uh, I miss the company, but I don't miss the hassle. You know, with a relationship to strings attached and I always end up dangling by the neck. That's why I don't want a serious relationship. It's a pity you disapprove of marriages of convenience. You'd have been the perfect candidate. Oh, well, it's not that I disapprove. It's just, well, it come right out of the blue, didn't mm. it? And, well, to be honest with you, I mean, I didn't know what it involved. So what does it involve? Oh, uh, half an hour in a registry office, living together without strings, just to convince the authorities. Uh, that wouldn't guarantee me my citizenship. It would just help me to plead the case with an emotional tie. But look, I was only joking when I mentioned it earlier. I'd better let you get off to work. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be free tonight, would you? Oh, I'm sorry. I've made another arrangement for Fridays. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Good night last night, wasn't it? Listen, um, you don't fancy... Hello, it. you too. Oh, hello. What do you think then, eh? My date with dance this weekend. I thought I'd just dip down to the florist later and show it to my partner, Mr Crosby. Oh, yeah, it's the dance marathon we sponsored you for, isn't it? So did you uh, find out how much stamina we got them last week at Butlins? Now, you know very well our relationship is strictly terpsichoreal. That's dancing, in case you're wondering. Mind you, I must admit there's a certain electricity between us. <laughs> the frog should give him a shock anyway. <laughs> It's now going to get to work. So have you uh, settled back in at the Farnham's then? Oh, uh, yeah, just about. So we're neighbours again. Have you uh, heard anything from Derek lately? No, he's still busy in Romania. Listen, you don't fancy a night out tonight, do you? Oh, are you? Hello, you two. Did you enjoy Butlins? Um, a little bird's just been telling us you've got a heavy date with her again this weekend. <sighs> Some little bird. Margaret, I do wish that woman didn't take such pleasure in spreading these nonsensical innuendos. I mean, it's just a perfectly innocent dance partnership. So how about tonight, then? Oh, uh, well, listen, I'm already going out with Beth. We're going celebrating our exam results or drowning her sorrows, whichever. Listen, why don't you come? Sound, yeah? Yeah, get Mike to come as well. We'll meet up at yours about seven, all right? See ya. Hang on. Is that the one you just bought? Yeah. You should have had less on your brown flakes, shouldn't you? Morning. All right. Uh, if you want coffee, it'll have to be black. And if you will stay out all night. You and Teddy seemed pretty mazy last night. I see Terry occasionally. 
There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Look, um, I've got to rush off. I want to go around the Jordashes before I get to work, so, um... Well, what did you and Beth get up to when you slopped off last night? Just went out some fresh air, that's all. So how come you got to go around today? Well, I just want to see how she is after last night. I'm a little gentleman you, aren't you, Rigsby? I'll just go back around the shop and get some more milk, shall I? Do it. Not thinking of resurrecting it, are you? Yeah, well, the pond idea. Beth hasn't decided for it again, has she? No. Um, no, it's just a few flags we're uneven. I've sorted it now. No, Beth isn't in, is she? Oh, I'll tell you want her. Well, I'll get off then. See you tonight. You know, window money night. Oh, OK, yeah. Uh, thanks again. OK, see ya. See ya. Mum said you wanted to work with me. Yeah. I, uh, just wanted to see how you were after last night. I didn't mean to upset you. Listen, it's forgotten, all right? Anyone can misread the signals. Yeah. Um, any news on your A-level result? No, I'm just gonna go and find out now. Not that I'm sure I want to know. You look past, I'm sure you will. <laughs> uh, tries to go and have a drink tonight to celebrate. Oh, commiserate. Actually, um, I've already arranged to go out with Margaret for a drink. You don't mind if I come along, do you? No, don't mind at all. Don't mind, love. I'll just till this lad up for you. Yeah. You'll have bathing in it, or what? Matt, we use champagne for that. Oh, Jackie, you remember what I said, OK? I want a bottle of sauce, wasn't it, love? Uh, Dad, Teddy wonders if he has a couple of cardboard boxes going spare to pack some old stock up in. Yeah, sure. Help yourself, love, out the back. Tell your Keith's coming tonight and probably Mike. Oh, right. Peter just invited himself as well. Should be a right celebration party then. Oh, a commiseration party. <laughs> um, I don't suppose you've got time to come into college with me, have you? Yeah, I've got ages before I have to pick Thomas up and play school. Oh, great. I might need a shoulder to cry on. I take it there's uh, still no word from young Beverly? No. I've looked everywhere I can think of. I know Frank and Lynn know where she is, but they're not safe. I know people thought it was just a middle aged fling. I'm really worried about her. Seems like half of me's disappeared with her, you know? As a matter of fact, I do. Not for general publication, but, um, if it helps. I went through a similar thing myself. Oh, years ago now, but... I can still remember the sense of utter desolation when it was all over. But... it does pass. Oh, so, uh, you enjoyed your little unscheduled trip to Butlins, eh, Bing? <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I truthfully say it was, um, different. <laughs> yeah, from what I've been hearing, you had your hands full with Julie today. <laughs> oh, no. What has the woman been saying now? You know, it really is too much. Find what you wanted, love. Eh, yeah, Tom. That's, uh, 156 pounds, please. Three A's. Three A's and a B. <sighs> Oh, but I only got a B in my chemistry. And three A's? That's brilliant, isn't it? Well, I suppose it's not bad, considering I didn't even finish the exam. Is it what you need? That's what I need to go to guys, yeah. Guys in London, oh, that's fantastic. Mm. Yui! Ah, Julia. I was just about to have some lunch with Jean. Don't go putting on too much weight now, will you? I just thought you'd like a preview of my Dallas Marathon outfit. And I was wondering, um, you don't think a course R would be a bit too much, do you? Uh, look, Julia, I'm beginning to wonder whether this marathon is really quite the thing. I, I don't know how, but some people seem to be getting entirely the wrong idea about the amount of time you and I are spending together. But I've done nothing but make sure they know it's all over and I've bored. Yes, I'm sure, but, um, I don't think we should risk your reputation, so I think it would be best if we abandoned our marathon plans. After all our training? I mean, what could uh, we could... I'm just... sorry. I'm so, I really am, but uh, I think it would be best all round. Sorry. Well, 
I suppose it does mean we can save ourselves then for the ballroom dance final. Well, I'm not entirely sure about that either. Look, I, I, I really can't talk now because Jean's waiting for lunch. Um, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll see you around, right? Bye. Customers have had any change. Um, you haven't got 50p, have you? No, sorry. Ah, well, you know, mate. You can hold it till next week. Oh, thanks. Okay. There she is, little Miss Brain Box. Your mum's just been telling me. Oh, I'm not that brainy. I only got a B in my chemistry. You keep telling me it's more than I ever got. I never even got a B in bunker enough. <laughs> Suppose you'll only be talking to professors and people like that now, will you? Mm, I don't know. I might make the odd exception. Oh, this will be Brenner. Well, at least she'll leave it alone once she gets the ring. Well, let's hope so. Hello, Brenna. Come in. Hello again. I'll get the ring for you. Just congratulating Beth on her exam results. Three A's and a B. <laughs> oh, your dad would have been pleased. Looks like you inherited his brains. Pity it's not the only legacy my dad left me, isn't it? You don't think for a minute I believe all that nonsense you concocted about your dad. Branna, I don't want Beth upsetting. Just take this and go. And I suppose I'm not entitled to be upset when some little girl thinks she's got the right to tell lies about my dead brother. Just because she's got a couple of A-levels... Oh, me. God, do you and your precious bloody brother have to spoil even that for her? You've got what you want. We've been through that charade of a funeral. Mum. Yes. Well... It may have been a charade to a woman who could poison her children's minds against their own father. It was Trevor who was the poison, Brenner. And I'm the one who has to live with the sin of ever letting him back into the girls' lives. But at least I can stop you reminding them of it, so just take the ring and go. I'm sorry, love. He's even spoiled today for you. Not if I don't let him, he won't. <sighs> Please, God, that's the last we see of Brenner. I ran him, you got no cheese ones. None left. Could have sworn there was some more there. Where's, um, where's Bev? I'd give a gold pig to know the answer to that one, wouldn't I? Hang on, I've got some cheese ones I haven't unpacked yet. Oh, yeah. Hello, Terry. Oh, yeah. Eating in tonight? Yeah, uh, unless you can change this appointment you've got. You know, I wouldn't mind it seeing you again tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't just cancel it as if it's some sort of social arrangement I've got. It is business, you know. Yeah, no sweat. You do understand, don't you? I just can't afford to break dates. Uh, one fifty, okay? Okay, love. Sorry, I've got to rush into town to meet somebody at seven. Be seeing you, Terry. Yeah, see ya. Here you go. One instant supper for one. Is that the one you wanted? Yeah, well, it'll have to do, won't it? Seeing as we can't always have what we want. Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah, me Mike's and Beth will squash in the back then, eh? No, yeah, I'll get in the back with Beth. No, Beth should get to sit in the front. It's her night out. Well, I can drive us if you like. Cover my first lesson. Not without a provisional license, it can't. Once you've got one, then we'll start the lessons, okay? Spoil sport. <laughs> Hi. Hiya. We're just off out to celebrate. I got three A's and a B. Congratulations. <laughs> well, have a nice night. All right then. See ya. Bye. Bother you, Beth coming up with Peter Harrison. Should it? No, it's just that, well, you know, I thought you'd want it to be with lads at own age, you know, especially after the dad and that. How do you mean? It came out last night when she came round and saw me digging in the garden. She told me what Trevor had, you know, done to her and Rachel. 
To be honest, I don't think I could have gone through with it. Even after knowing what he did to you. If she hadn't told me about the other things. You do know you're the only person outside the family who knows about Trevor and the girls, don't you? She told me you'd kept quiet about what happened to her when he was sent down for battering you. I thought if no one knew officially, it'd save her from the stigma. It'd be easier for her to forget. The trouble was, I let myself forget what an animal he was. His own daughters. Why did you let him back? I um, blocked out what he'd done, I suppose. I didn't want to believe that my husband was capable of that. I couldn't face it. And it's hard to fall out of love with someone. Yeah, well, I just think you did the right thing, putting a stop to him the way you did. And I'm not sorry for my part in it, you know. Now I know it was right. I just wish I hadn't had to involve you. Yeah, well, so it makes us close, doesn't it? And who knows? When this is all over, perhaps we'll get to know each other even better. We'll even go out. <laughs> well, you and me? Yeah, well, you're right. I mean, why would you want to go out with a window cleaner? I didn't mean that. And we have become close. I couldn't have asked for a better brother to have helped me through everything that's happened. And you think that's all that links us, don't you? No. Well, let's be honest. We don't really know each other, apart from all this mess. We know nothing about each other's lives. You could send me to prison and I don't know who you are. I don't even know your real name. Sinbad was good enough when he needed me, wasn't he? Hey, no, look, no, don't go. Let, let me explain what I meant. I think you already have. And don't worry. You don't have to worry about staying friendly with me just because of what I know. No, the best bit would definitely one is two pain, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> they all had really bizarre hairdos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to see it, your mum, Beth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing it again, actually. Oh, it's on video now. We can see it the weekend, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Same again for me. Everybody on the same? Yeah, yeah please. So for my have to go for them. I went for them last time. You're old Maketty, aren't you? That doesn't mean to say I have to be the runner for everyone. Oh, no, come on, be fair. Mike did get them last time. Come on, Peter, we'll go and get them. whether she knows about his past. Oh, come off it. He did get found not guilty. No, I think Mike's got a point. I mean, I'm not saying he did it, but, you know, Beth's been through a lot. Went to court and everything. Just sort of thing I'd want to know about someone. Give the guy a break. It's history, isn't it? Oh, come on, you're not going to bubble him, are you? No, you're right. Come in. You don't mind? No. I brought a takeaway. Unless you're actually looking forward to that. Oh, I wasn't looking forward to much except the night in on my own. Hey, yeah, we could go out if you wanted to. Oh, I'm happy to stay in if you are. Well, there's uh, a film on the telly later or it could get us a vid. Oh, no, the film will be fine. Oh, great. A night in in front of the telly then, eh? Sounds just like what I had in mind. <laughs> All I'm saying is that she's got a right to know. Stop going on about it, will you? Probably blow apart before too long anyway. So in the meantime, just keep your gobs shut, OK? Here we are, guys. Here we go. Right, I hope I've got this right. I couldn't remember whether it was two lagers or one shot the other way round. The other one with all the A-levels. Yeah, you better get your act together before you go to... Where is it, guys? Well, I haven't decided for definite yet. Well, it is the place, isn't it? Well, there are plenty of other good universities. Liverpool, for instance, and it'd mean that I wouldn't have to leave home. What, when you've got an offer from London? You'd be crazy to miss out on that. And if you think there's some big attraction to stay round here for... Yeah, I mean, what makes you not want to leave Liverpool? Well, I've got plenty of time to decide. Now, which one's the shandy? There you go. Hey, I was saving that bit till last. Wait, I mean, look, I'm going to have to give us another four-pack, you know, if we're going to stay up and watch this late film. 
No, we'll have enough with these. Well, it doesn't finish till half one, you know. Unless, uh, you want to stay the night again. OK. Why not? Um, let's keep things on our usual terms, though. After all, neither of us is looking for an emotional involvement, are we? Uh, no. You're right. Oh, all right, Bing. Hello, Rod. Just off to escort the lady wife home. Yeah, right. Hoi, Bing. Uh, just want to say, you know, thanks. It's good to know somebody understands, like. Oh, any time, old son, you know. Feel like having a chat about things, you know where I am. Yeah, cheers. Just wish the kids could come to terms with it all. Then I could find Bev. Yes, yes, of course. Well, I'll see you. Yeah. Night, then. Sit down, mate. How are you, love? Uh, I can open up again, you know, if there's something you want. Eh, uh, no. I just thought I'd walk home with you, that's all. Huh? That's nice. <laughs> Oh, you must be getting fed up, eh? Your old dad with a face on him all the time. Yeah, well, now I've upset you've been. But, well, things will get back to normal now, won't they? Now that Bev's gone. <sighs> yeah, but you do know it doesn't mean that me and your mum will get back together again, don't you, love? There's no magical cure for that. Look, I know people thought it was just a middle-aged fling, and I'm not saying it was right here and your mum and that, but... Well, you've got to understand, love, that even if I never see Bev again, I just can't drop back into my old way of life. But what if Bev doesn't want you? Yeah, but she hasn't said that, has she? Not to me face. No, but she says it to me. So it's no use you keep being sad about it. When? Jackie, when? She came round to the house last night to tell me that she didn't want to see you ever again. And did she say where she was staying? Jackie, love, you've got to tell me so I can talk to her. Yeah, but, Dad, she doesn't want to talk to you. She meant it. She's even... Had an abortion. When? When did she? OK, so she hasn't yet, but she's going to, Dad, honest. No. No, she wouldn't do that. I wouldn't let her do that. Yeah, but you can't stop her. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to stop her. What's all this, then? Got a date with Steffi Graf? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think dancers sitting around in my day off. I'll have a game. I love tennis. I used to get the Wimbledon finals on television in Berlin. I've never played, though. It's a chance. It's a snobs game, that's why. We don't play in a socialist countries. <laughs> what are you talking about? What about Lenda and Navratilova? They're both from communist states and they play all over the world. Well, I mean, only snobs playing in this country. God, yeah, you see all sorts <laughs> playing in the park around here. I used to play myself. Anyway, I thought we'd play doubles. Oh, you and me, Peter, against these two. Great. Oh, well, actually, I was thinking of asking Beth to be my partner. Oh, I see. Why don't you and Keith take us on? Keith? Eh, uh, I wouldn't mind asking Margaret to play. Sorry. Never mind. Another time, maybe. Well, what about me? What about you? I'm not going to be the ball boy, am I? Oh, you wouldn't want to play, anyway. It's a snob's game. Well, I'm not going to stay here while you're all out. I'm having a good time, am I? 
Why don't you team up with Anna? We can have a round robin. Yeah, that nice. Yeah? Anna? We've, um, found your partner. You and me, what do you reckon? I don't think so, mate. I've got a word, we'll flash them. No thanks, I'll stay here. Anyway, I've never played before. I don't think it's in the way. What's it for? Oh, taking my frustration out on it. You what? Well, it was either this or Ron Dixon's face. Why, what's happening now? Oh, the bare-faced cheek of the man. He was only round here earlier, expecting me to tell him where our Bev is. Oh, nice to see. Anyway, I put him straight. I think we've seen the last of him for a while. Let's hope so, yeah. So what's with the bike? Well, it was only lying rusting in my mum's old shed, so I thought maybe we could use it. We use it. What for? <laughs> what do you think? To get fit, of course. Fit? Hey, I work all the hours, God sends. That keeps me fit, thanks very much. Oh, come on, Frank. I'm talking about proper exercise. Exercise? I never stop, Lynn. Proper exercise? What, you mean all that running and that? That jogging? I used to do all that with our Jeff sit-ups and that type of thing. Yeah, and how long's your Jeff been gone? Yeah, but that sorted strain and, well, keeps you fit for donkey's years. Oh, so that's why you're out of breath every time you climb the stairs. Well, uh, I might be a bit rusty, but uh, I'm not in bad shape for my age, am I? <laughs> I never said you were. Neither are you. Yeah, but we could both be better, so we're going to get fit. And you can start by rolling that bike for me. All right, then. I'm knackered. I've been driving all night. Come on, Frank, it'll only take five minutes. And I'll make the breakfast. Fair dues. Plenty of fried bread for me. <laughs> fried bread? How about grapefruit, cereal, and then low-fat yoghurt? You yeah, what? Oh, and some orange juice as well, just for a treat. Right, oh, it's from Ucker. Confirming my place at Guy's. Great. So it's all official, then? London, eh? But you can't wait. Yeah. Only another month and then you'll be away. I don't have to go, you know, Mum. What? To London, I mean. There might still be a place at Liverpool, and then that'd mean that I wouldn't have to leave you and Rachel. But your heart's always been set on London. Yeah, well... That was before he... Before he came back. Yes, and that's all over now. It's behind us all, isn't it? Don't you want me to stay? Of course I do, love. Listen, I hate the thought of you and Rachel leaving home, just like any mother would. But there's no reason for you to stay now. You've got to get on with your own life. But what about if... It's over. We have to forget the past few months and start living our lives again. You've worked hard for those exams. You deserve a place on that course. Don't let all that hard work go to waste. Mum, you do know, if he was still alive, I wouldn't leave Ian and Rachel. I know, love, I know. But we're all right now. Everything's going to be all right. So you can write back to guys and tell them you're going to accept their offer. You're going to London. Mike? Michael? Michael, please, son. What? Michael, son, you've got to help me. I'm at the end of my tether. It's Bev. Oh, that's a surprise. She's going to get rid of the baby. I don't know where she is, Dad. But I need to talk to her. I've got to find oh, her. Just let it go, eh? Listen, she walked out on you. No. Listen, we can go back to the way we were before. Eh? Michael, it's too late for all of no, that. No, it's not. We can get me mum home and be a proper family again. No. Oh, please, for me mum's sake, just leave it, eh? Leave it? She's carrying my baby, for God's sake. Oh, she's carrying your baby. Are you sure about that, Grandad? Listen, Michael, I love Ben. And as far as her and I are both concerned, that baby's mine. If I've got to ring every bloody clinic in Liverpool to stop that abortion, then I will. Are you looking for Patricia? <laughs> She's not here. Hi. She's spending all day with clients and she won't get back until late this evening. Didn't she tell you? I'm afraid she doesn't tell me anything these days. Oh, dear. Things no better between you. Oh, didn't Patricia tell you? Yes, we are talking. In fact, uh, we're talking all the time. 
who gets the dishwasher, microwave, not to mention the electric tin opener. It's like living with Bruce Forsyth. I'll end up with a cuddly toy. Well, can I give her a message? She might phone. No, it's all right. I'll send her a postcard, eh? From sunny Newcastle. Well, we've had a partners meeting and the firm needs somebody in Newcastle for a fortnight and Geoffrey seems to think that I should be the one to go. And you don't? Well, I didn't have any say in the matter. I was either go to Newcastle or go to the job centre. Oh, are things really that bad? Well, this whole business has put a strain on my work. I've let things slip. Well, it must be difficult to keep your mind on the job. Yeah, but... Sending me to Newcastle isn't going to help. I'll be going out of my mind with worry. But I won't see Thomas for two weeks. Jean, I need to be here. I can't very well sort out this mess with me being 200 miles up the motorway. Well, maybe the break will do both you and Patricia some good. Give you a chance to think about things. Or not think about things. Out of sight, out of mind, eh? Oh, come on, Max. Patricia's not going to forget about you that easily. She's as cut up about this as you are. Jean. She's still pressing ahead with the divorce. She's not doing it lightly. Yeah, I know. God, what a mess. Oh, I suppose she's told you it's the first court hearing tomorrow. The decree nice size, some crusty old judge slavering over all the juicy details. Sounds frightful. Do you both have to be there? No. No, it's just a formality. Nothing like the impersonal touch, is there? I'm sorry it's gone this far, Max. Mm, me too. Well, must get on. I've already had my wrist slap once today. Last thing I need is to lose my job, as well as my wife. Hi. Keith? I'm not in the right gear for tennis. They were not too scruffy. It's hardly Wimbledon. <laughs> of course. Are you sure you don't fancy it? No, thanks. I've got things to do here. Ah, oh, but Mike's going to be stuck for the partner. Sorry. Anyway, I would have thought Mike would have wanted to be Beth's partner. Yeah, and now it looks like Mike's had his nose pushed out there. I think our landlord's got the odds for Beth. Really? I wouldn't have thought Peter would have been interested in her. I mean, she's a bit young. Yeah, no, no. But they really seem to be hitting it off. You ready, Keith? Beth, say. Yeah, sure. So. Bye. See you, man. Have a nice time. Oh, oh. you're not on your way out, are you? Uh, uh, Beth got these. Uh, it looks like she's gone. I was wondering if I could have a chat. Anything in particular? Just to see how you and the girls are getting on. It won't take five minutes. Of course, come in. Frank? Did you check your shifts? Sorry, love. Your Katie gets the GCSE results this week. You wanted the day off, remember? Yeah, I had a word. No problem. I was thinking, you know, we should uh, take her out or something. Buy the Prezi like. Well, we don't know how she's got on yet. Hey, Aunt Katie's the brains of this family. She will have walked those exams. Talking about brains of the family, I spoke to our Bev earlier. No, I. How is she? Mm, bearing up. I'm glad I'm not in her shoes today. Yeah, must be terrible for the poor girl. Oh, still, at least all this mess is finally going to be sorted out. Let's hope so, yeah. Then we can get on with our own lives for a change. Yeah. I'm Frank. Thanks for helping out. You know, offering to run me and Bev down the clinic. I really appreciate it. Well, I couldn't let the girl go on her own to one of those places. Somebody needs to be with her. Listen, then, uh, you don't mind if I don't hang around the place waiting for you, do you? No, of course not. You just drop me and Bev down there and I'll get a taxi back. Sound, yeah. Hey, I'll give me a chance to I'll go with the bike. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you taking our fitness drive seriously. Yeah. Just watch me go on that bike. Eddie makes. Eddie you? Eddie Merckx, Belgian bloke, won a tour de France loads of times. And I tell you what, love, I'm starting to feel a lot fitter after that breakfast of yours. A balanced diet, Frank. That's the key. Cut out all that fat and it'll keep you going all day. Yeah. All day, love.
I'm glad you and the girls seem to be coping so well. These last couple of weeks can't have been easy for you. They haven't been. In fact, there were times when I didn't think we'd pull through. Still, that's all behind us now. We've all got to look to the future. Exactly. And that's what I'm here to talk about. Your future. What about it? Well, what are your plans? You said that Beth is going to London, so what about you and Rachel? Have you thought where you'll live? I thought... I thought we might stay. I'm sorry, Mandy. But this is a safe house. That's why the charity housed you and the girls here. So you'd be safe from your husband. Now, with Trevor having passed on, you're no longer at risk. The charity needs this place for other families, families who are still going through the same pain and suffering you went through. Of course. How long have we got? Well, around three months, though, of course, if we can find somewhere sooner, it would be better. I'm sorry to have to ask you to leave, especially so soon after the funeral. But I'm sure you understand we're very short of good, safe accommodation, especially this size. Of course I do. Finding decent houses has become such a problem. We're planning on expanding some of our properties. See if we can house more than one family at a time. Actually, the trustees were thinking of this house for an extension. An extension? Yes. I'm afraid it'll mean digging up your new patio. But I'm sure you'll agree it's worth it. If it means keeping another family safe and sound. McLaughlin. Beverly McLaughlin. What do you mean, confidential? I'm the father, for God's sake. We're closed. Max, I said we're closed. It's just the new terms and conditions of the lease. Another time, eh, Max? I just need your signature. It should have been done last month. Oh, thanks. I, thank you. Thanks, I really do appreciate it. Hello? Hello? Come on, come on. Bev, is that... No, it's not the Golden Dragon. Right, that's it. What are you going to do? Something I should have done hours ago. Get this mess sorted out once and for all. One. Six games to two. Hey, partner. Right, let's see the sides, eh? Yeah, good idea. We'll have uh, me and Beth against you, Margaret. Oh, no, not for me. Got blisters, they're killing me. Yeah, count me out, mate. I'm bushed. Oh, come on, I've been standing here like some overgrown ball boy. I'm not even going to get a game. Why don't you and Peter play? Well, it's singles. Yeah, I'm on for it. Well, yeah, all right. I'm a bit rusty, like. It's OK. I'll go easy on you. You're all on your own, Sampras. There you go. I'm coming. Hey, I heard you first time. What's the score? Where's the fire? Where's Lynn? Hey, you can't barge in here. Where's Lynn, Frank? I want to see her. Now, just hang on. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. The woman I love is just about to have an abortion. And why? Because she probably thinks that I don't love her and I don't want her. And why does she think that, Frank? Hey? Because certain people wanted to think that. Because they think they got some right to play God with other people's lives. Some right to go around killing other people's kids. My kid, Frank. Not Lynn's, not anybody else's, mine. I don't know deserve a chance to save it. Lynn's not here. She's with Bev, isn't she? I promised. At the clinic. Frank, please. Woo! That's love 43 match points. This is cruel with the fox something this. Beth certainly seems to be enjoying it. Oh god. 
I don't even think he's going to get one point. Well played, Sampras. Yeah, I don't think luck came into it. Looks like you got yourself a fan there. How do you mean? Beth? Don't tell me you haven't noticed. Oh, I think she just appreciates good tennis, mate. Yeah? I wonder whether she appreciates your other hobbies quite as much. Sorry? I suppose you told her about the fortnight you spent in court. Come on, Mike. Now, the tennis court isn't the only place you like to take advantage. <laughs> if I'd known you were going to take losing this badly, I'd have let you win. Well, it's got nothing to do with losing. No? Yeah. No, I happen to think Beth's sound, and I think she deserves to know what she's letting herself in for. Don't you think that's between me and Beth? Not if you're there till it isn't. So you better think about it, because if you don't tell her, somebody else might. Yeah, thanks for your advice. If they got one him, you'd think he'd lost. What's up with him, eh? I don't know. I'm just giving him a few tips on etiquette. Here, drink this. It'll make you feel better. I can't. I feel sick. Hi, Mum. Mum? You all right? What's the matter? He's dead and buried. And look at us, we're still running scared. Well, what's happened? We're going to dig up the garden. What? Who are? The Shackletons, for an extension, so they can look after another family, keep them safe. But they can't. We live here. We've got to leave. He's dead, so we've got to leave. They can't just throw us out. Three months, Beth, that's all we've got. Three months and then they'll find him. Well, we've got to do something. We can't just let them dig up the garden, can we? Right. We've got three months. What are you doing? Looks like I won't be going to London, doesn't it? But... I'm going to stay here with you and Rachel. You need me, Mum. We all need each other. The only way we're going to get through any of this is by sticking together. Come on. We've got to be strong now. We've just got to be strong. Bev? Bev? You all right, love? She'll be all right. Once you clear off and let her get on with sorting this mess out. Oh. Bev, you, you haven't... But you're too late anyway, Ron. <gasps> She's going ahead with it. She wants you and everything to do with you out of her life for good. And that includes my baby, does it? Because that's what we're talking about here, you know. Because your sister, who I just happen to love, is carrying my baby. Ah, oh, but then that wouldn't matter to you, would it, Lynn? Because you get a kick out of killing other people's children, don't you? I don't have to take that from you. Oh, don't you? How many other abortions have you organised, eh, Lynn? I bet Leanne's wasn't the first. I bet you even do a special rape for school kids, don't you? I wonder what your Gavin and Alison might think. You leave my children out of this. Ah, your children. It hurts, doesn't it, eh? But somebody else, a stranger, involves your children. Look, I wouldn't be here if I thought it was wrong. It's the right thing to do. Think about your wife. Think about Dee Dee. Right and wrong. You stand here in this place, and then have the death sentence on other people's kids, and you got the nerve to tell me what's right and wrong. Now, get out, Lynn. It's all right, nurse. This lady was just about to leave. Bev wants me to stay, don't you, Bev? Bev? Just go, Lynn. I'll be all right. You change your mind and you'll regret this for the rest of your life. Goodbye, Lynn. <sighs> yeah, I'll 
to dry your eyes. I shouldn't have come round. I had to, didn't I? Couldn't let you go through with this. It's no use. I've made up my mind. That's our baby in there, you know. I know it is. Look at all the trouble it's caused, eh? I mean, everyone hates me. Don't be daft, love. Nobody hates oh, you. Oh, yeah. I what about Mike and Jackie and Tony? What have I done to DDA? I've ruined her life. It's not fair. But I love you, Bev. I know you do. Well, don't do it then, love. Don't have the abortion. Oh, Ron, don't you see? I'm doing it for you. I'll be out your life for good and you can get on like normal. But I don't want you out of my life. Ron, you've got a family and you've got a wife. You're my family now. You and our child. I'm sorry, Ron. Really sorry. Bev. <laughs> Bev, I love you. Marry me then. What? I mean, I'll divorce Dee Dee. Bev, will you marry me? Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of this place, eh? What's with the ball? All right, Sin. I'm just doing a bit of coaching with some junior team. Only local, like, you know, try and get the kids off the streets. No, you didn't throw that. I'm not really. I think they were desperate, so I just sort of lumbered myself. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Do it. Do it. Whoa. <laughs> hey, what's a big bad boy? Don't come and take it off, you sonny. Well, I... Hey, up. There's Al Tupper back from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, where's your mate? So, uh, what's with the tractors then, Frank? Arlene's got me on us, uh, healthy living, like. Oh, yeah. You mean, uh, under the thumb, like? Under the doctor, you mean, don't you? <laughs> Sweating like a derby, with a... <laughs> hey, it's hard work, this jogging, like. Hey, I tried that jogging once. It'd be sculling. I'm into alehouse aerobics now. Alehouse aerobics? Yeah, get a few lads in the alehouse and watch Jane Fonda's workout video. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, you sure you're OK there, Frank? I'll be all right when I get me breath. Of course, you got the ambulance now, or later. <laughs> so what's with the ball and the gear? Oh, I'm just doing a bit of uh, voluntary work with the under-12 pushing team, you know. Hey, I saw his eyes. Yeah, if you know, he's a pro now. Let's have a touch. Oh, good, Frank. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, Perry, eh? Hey, 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 all my windows are not going to get broke. Make sure you stay your own end, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get Bev out. we got a game going. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Bev's not in today. And anyway, I'm busy. Not like some people. Yeah. <laughs> Scalacci! Oh, 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 get in! Well, oh, like nobby stars there, Frank. Oh. Oh. I thought the kids were bad enough around here. <laughs> All right. Hello, Ace. Thought you were going out. I was supposed to be seeing Margaret for another game of tennis, but she's working late. You playing on your own? Yeah. At least I get to win that way. <laughs> Tell you what. I'll give you a game. Sound, yeah. <coughs> this one's going nowhere anyway. You get on well with Margaret, don't you? I do, yeah. 
it's a bit awkward knowing whether she's really interested or not. Especially after all that stuff Ed and the priest went through. Yeah, but he's out of her life now, isn't he? It's hard to know with them going through so much together. I'm just determined to take things steady with her. I like it too much to blow it before we've even got started. OK, he starts. <laughs> All right. No. I said you were bad. I thought I'd try and catch you. This doesn't sound like a social visit. I feel a bit bad bothering you. You must be fed up with us by now. No, you're all right. What's up? The Shackletons are sending a surveyor around to look at the house. What for? The charity want to build an extension. Into the back garden? So they can get more than one family in the house. Do you think there'd be any way to get it stopped? Well, it's their property, isn't it? I wouldn't know where to start. I'm sorry for troubling you. I should be prepared to think for myself a bit more. Look, Mandy, it's not that I don't want to help you, it's just... I mean, I get a bit fed up. I mean, you only come round when you want something. I mean, you never seem to want me to just be around. I know what you're saying. I've always been worried that we've been taking up too much of your time anyway. You know, you were right last week. When you think about it, we hardly know each other. I know what you mean. Maybe it's best if you stay out of it. Um, you've been such a good friend to us, and all we've done is taking you for granted. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Oh, Mandy, I'm sorry. Just thought I'd better say how I felt. I'm gonna have to get back. Thanks. Look, Mand, I still want to be friends. I just don't want to... <sighs> well, we're not exactly in a normal situation, are we? I'll see you tomorrow. OK. Oh, I'm sorry, Marianne. I meant to mention this earlier, actually. What's that? Well, I'm just feeling a bit guilty about the amount of work you've been landed with since you arrived. I like being busy. I've been trying to think of some ways we could lighten the load. I thought if we spent a bit of time talking about it, we could come up with a few ideas. No, I wouldn't complain. Are you free in the morning? Well, actually, I'm tied up tomorrow, but I could manage this evening. We could grab a bite somewhere and talk it through. Well, Mick will be expecting me. That's the only thing. Oh. I thought he was busy with his new football team at the gym tonight. Isn't it his first coaching session? Oh, yes, it is. I'd forgotten. Well, that makes life a bit easier. I'll tell you what, we'll take both cars, you follow me, and we'll grab an Italian or something. Right, that's better. Oh, come on in. Come listen to me. Come in. Come in. Right, uh, just got a few things to say before we start, OK? Now, I'm Mick Johnson, and I'm going to be your coach. Now, look, we are here to enjoy ourselves, right? But there's three things that I'm going to be really hot on. The first thing is turning up on time, right? The second thing is playing hard, but playing fair, right? And the third thing is respecting this place because the school have been really generous in letting us use it. All right? Are you, uh, you part of this group, lad? Me? No. Right. OK. So, uh, should we have a game of five aside so I can have a look at you? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, you, you, out okay. here, pick your teams. All right, get your teams together. found Bev? Yeah, I did, yeah. I heard you stopped her getting an abortion. Well, I just had a talk with her and she made her own mind up. Must have been some talk. <laughs> so what's with the Jimmy Savile impression then? <laughs> Lynn's trying to get me fit, you know. He even had me on one of those exercise bikes. Sounds painful, that. <laughs> Redecorating the shop, are you? Uh, no, um, actually I'm doing a flat out upstairs. <laughs> For Bev. For Bev? Yeah. We're getting married. You seem to be getting on OK with Bev. She's nice, I like her. Isn't she a bit young for you? Oh, come on, age doesn't matter. You sound like my mum. It must be hard starting seeing someone again, after all that business with Diana. You've just got to put it behind you, you know? I'd be dead scared of anything like that happening to me. 
It's so easy to get it wrong, isn't it? Still, you were proved innocent, so you shouldn't let it get to you. Yeah, but only the courts found me innocent. People out in the real world still think I'm guilty. So who was right? The court? All the people out in the real world? Well, I believed I was innocent at the time. That's what I believe now. When you look back, though, do you mind me talking about it? No. Don't get the chance too much. Women are weird, aren't they? One minute you think you're getting the come on, and the next you knock back. You've been getting the come on from Margaret? I thought I was, but I'm scared to jump in, you know, in case she just wants to be a mate. Do you fancy it? I suppose I do, yeah. Well, it's easy to get it wrong. I found that out. When you look back, do you ever have doubts, you know, about whether you did do it or not? About whether I raped Diana? I was just wondering. I suppose I do. When you replay the same event in your mind over and over again every night for months, you're bound to. Didn't you ever think about just getting off after the court case? I know I would have been long gone. <laughs> if I wasn't prepared to face up to people afterwards, it would have been admitting I was guilty. Have you told Beth about it yet? What do you think? Oh, you should do, you know. At least if she knows, she can make her own mind up about how to deal with it. And anyway, it won't be long before someone else tells her. There's a few people around here who still think you were guilty. People meaning Mike? Oh, you know what people are like. I wouldn't trust Jimmy Corkle to keep his big gob shut. Mike doesn't like seeing me with Beth, does he? <laughs> He'll get over it. I've told him not to tell her, but... Well, he might. I still think she'd be better off finding out from you. Can we finish this later, do you mind? Yeah, sure. Have we got any food then? Well, not much. We'd better go and stock up, hadn't we? You know, if she really likes you, it won't make any difference. It'll probably put her off me for the rest of her life. But she should know, I guess. Best way, eh? Yeah. I'll tell her, definitely. These are the causes entered in the special procedure list for pronouncement of decrees nisi and decrees of judicial separation in open court. The names are as follows. Atherton and Atherton, Bennett and Bennett, Courtney and Courtney, Evans and Evans, Farnham and Farnham, Taylor and Taylor, Wilkinson and Wilkinson. Any objections? I therefore pronounce decrees nisi on those names read out. You know. Well, she's really upset. Why? The surveyor's round at the house now. He's poking his nose into everything. He's even saying there's something wrong with the paving stones. Well, look, you're just gonna have to say that some cowboy did them or something. It's a minimum I've talked about this, and well, we sort of decided she was on her own for this one. Oh, right. Um, she didn't really say it like that. There's Beth. You should have a word with her now before somebody else does. Well, I don't know, mate. No time like the present, is there? Look, well, are you going straight back home? No, I've got to go to the shop first and get some stuff for Mum. All right, peace. Hi. Hi. All right. Hi. Hiya. Uh, see you later. 
Listen, I've got a few things on here. If I go around, tell your mum. If I get five minutes later on, I'll slip around, OK? Thanks. I've got a severe case of the munchies, me. It's all that mental exercise playing chips. Hiya. Oh, hiya, love. Hiya. Hi. You can't keep putting it on. I can't talk to her in here. You could walk back with her. Hey, are you two buying up the whole shop down there? <laughs> yeah, more or less. Beth, are you walking back home now? Oh, I'm running more like. My mum needs these now. She's got someone coming round. It doesn't matter. I'll see you when I see you. Well, um, I'm call round one night if you want to. Great. Yeah, Friday. Or whenever you're, you're free. We can have a, a chat. Uh, I'll do some food, maybe. Yeah, OK, then. See you then. See you. There we go. Right, that it, love. 2.44, do you get it? Uh, thank you. Bye. ta -da. On the pools, have we? Would we be shopping here if we had? <laughs> Maybe not, no. Tell me, is, um... Is our Michael around tonight? Oh, you know what he's like. You either see him or you don't. Could we get a message to him? No, no, you're all right, sir. Bit of news, you know. Just family business, like. <laughs> Go on, Paul. Good control, lad. Yeah, that's it. Next one, get ready for the pass. To you, Joey. Go on, Paul. Go on. Good pass back. Good, lad. Go on. Go on, Joey, lad. Go on, Joey. Good lad. Good pass. Come on, Ray. Good control. Nice one. Go on, son. Good pass back now. Great. I just wanted to say, you know, about all that business before, I mean, told me you and Bev would get married. Well, er... Uh, Came as a shock, you know. Yeah, well, came as a shock to me and all when she said yes. It's a serious big step, that, for the both of you. I know, Frank. I also know I've never been more serious about doing anything in my life. What about all those years ago, when you married Dee? Wasn't that serious? What did I know then? My whole world was about three streets in a chippy. When I think about it, I'm amazed that me and Dee Dee lasted so long. How's Bev handling it all? Well, she's getting there. She can be on me for now. You've got her moving in upstairs? It was the only way I could think of us being closer together. She's staying back at her mum's while I'm finishing the decorating. Are you moving in here with her? Not all the time. That wouldn't work just yet. Not until the kids are more ready to accept her. Ron, this is really going to do Dee's head in, you know? Yeah, well, we won't be doing anything official till she gets out of that convent place and back on her feet. She'll come to terms with it. <laughs> They do the most delicious cheesecake here. I wonder how Mick's getting on at the gym. He's a bit nervous about it. Oh, he'll be having a great time. They're really good. Well, most of them. I'm really pleased he's getting involved in something outside of home in the pizza place. I hope the youngsters all behave for him. Listen, he's so big, they'll be too scared to step out of line. Come to think of it, I'm the one who should be scared. Why? In case he's a jealous kind of guy. Might not take too kindly to me taking his lovely girlfriend out to dinner. But he knows it's just a work thing. Yeah, not like the problems I have with my wife. She hated me working with attractive young women, let alone taking them out to eat. Well, I'm surprised she couldn't just accept it as part of your job. No, she is the jealous kind. Look, I'm sorry about this, but I wouldn't mind getting home. Do you mind if we skip dessert? No, of course not. We'll just go straight to the coffee, OK? All right, go on, boys. Here you go. The next time we start doing some real work, all right? Come on, get yourselves cleaned up. Hey, and leave the place tidy. Go on, Ahmed. Hey, 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 hey. What's all this? I don't know. You sure? It's nothing to do with me. You're the only one who's been in here. You accusing me? Well, who else is thee? What proof have you got? All right, let's start getting ready. You haven't got any proof, have you? OK, maybe I haven't. I just want you to know something, lad. People that do stuff like that don't deserve facilities like this place. They don't deserve people working hard and volunteering to make life better for them. Oh, you sound like me, Alfala. He was a miserable old nach. 
Well, then uh, maybe you should show more respect then. I would if you ever came anywhere near me. You know what? Lads your age should be showing these younger ones a better example. You know that? Lads like that are going nowhere, are they? Not like us, not like our team. We want to achieve things, don't we? And not destroy them. So listen, anybody who wants to behave like that lad there might as well go now. All right. Anyone who stays, I'm going to set up a 10 pence fine system for any bad behavior like that, all right? Yeah. All right. We'll start getting changed. Baldy old knock. Do you mind if I move these? Oh, no, of course not, I'll be out of your way as soon as I can. Oh. Nice bath? Mm. That's what I needed after a couple of hours in the garden. Look, shall I do this downstairs? No, of course not, no. What time are you due up in Newcastle? I start seven o'clock in the morning. It's a Japanese firm. I thought you were going to try and leave earlier this afternoon. No, I went to court today for the decree nice eye hearing. I understood we weren't obliged to be there. I just thought I'd go along. Pretty depressing experience all round, though. There must have been 20-odd divorces announced in that one sitting. I felt the court official was reading names from the telephone directory. And there we were, Farnham and Farnham. Another reject marriage. Oh, well. It's only another six weeks till the decree absolute, and then everything will be cut and dried. Can't wait. Look, I'm sorry. I'll uh, be on my way soon. No rush. If they do decide to build, the whole place will have to be dug up. Do you want me to take the surveyor's tea out to him? Yeah, do it while Sinbad's coming back in. Tried my best to put him off. Seems to think the charity are dead keen, though. Oh, what are we going to do? I'm um, sorry, I didn't mean we. I'm going to have to think of something. <clears throat> well, thanks for coming around to talk to the surveyor. I appreciate that, even if nothing comes of it. Sound like you're trying to get rid of me? Well, I just thought you wanted out of all this. I never said that. Mum, the surveyor's going in a minute. We'll be there now, love. Well, I can't believe this has all gone on as long as it has done. We'll have to be found out sooner or later. You won't have to worry when it all comes out. No one will ever know you knew anything. Listen, man, I mean, that's half the problem with where my head is, you know. I mean, I don't want to be cut out of your lives. I mean, I'm up to me neck in this with all of you, and that's where I want to be. You know, if you want to stay here, you're going to need a load of objections to the charity expanding the place. What kind of objections? I don't know, something that'll frighten them off going ahead. You know, letters from the neighbours. Saying what? Well, you know, that... that they don't want any more problem families on the estate. I really don't know enough people to get that kind of support. I do. Look, would you rather I finish this in the spare room? What? Well, it's just us, together in the bedroom, what with the divorce and everything. Well, we are still married, just. <laughs> I know, but it was only a couple of hours ago. I was sitting in court listening to the judge announce our divorce. Yeah, but we've been getting undressed in front of each other for years. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, do you mind if I get changed in here? Hide my eyes, if you like. I'm not sure of the protocol in these circumstances. Well, I wouldn't say I was exactly an expert. I suppose you could say we've made a spectacular mess of things, haven't we? Or should I say, haven't I? Pretty much.
I'm not imagining things, am I? I think we used to be two people who loved each other and cared for each other. And made each other laugh and cry. That was us, wasn't it? Doesn't seem so very long ago. Sorry, we shouldn't be doing this. It just isn't right. Patricia, uh... Hiya. What's all that? Well, by the time I decorated the upstairs flat here, yeah? and I've sorted a few bits and pieces out of the garage, you know. Oh, that's all I'm worth then, is it? Jumble from the Dixon's garage. Okay, I know it's not much, but in no time at all, I'll have that place looking like a little palace. I'd rather be moving into a proper home with you instead of me stuck here and you over at the close. Yeah, well, one step at a time, Ayla. Listen, do you fancy telling off? We don't want to be late for the Legion, do we? I don't really feel up to going. Ah, oh, hey, Bev, I'm comparing tonight. And it's the prize bingo. Can't miss calling that. Nah. And it's a good act on. Are you not feeling all right? Everyone will be staring at me. So let them stare, eh? Can't hide away for the rest of our lives, can we? Hello. Hi. Look as if you're getting something very special. I'm just being taken out of dinner. Are you going anywhere? No, I'm just quite annoyed in. Hiya. I'll call around in about an hour, should I? Yeah, whenever you're ready. All right, see you later. Just a quiet night in with your young friend. I hope I won't be interrupting anything when I get home. No, of course not. We're just going to watch a video. Have a nice time. I got my exam results. I can't believe it. I never failed any. I got all A's and B's. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Oh, thanks. I got A's in dance and drama and English and computer studies. Hey, you'll be able to go to college now. No problem. Oh, I know, yeah. I can't wait to tell Lynn. She's been telling me about this dance course I might be able to do. Dancing? Oh, yeah, Dad. It's brilliant. Courses is love, yeah. Listen, uh, we'll have a proper talk about what you're going to do next, won't we? Yeah, I'm going to phone my mum anyway and tell her. Well done, love. Well done. All right. All right. Finally got round to sorting out the flat over the shop. You gonna rent it out? No, I'm, uh, I'm doing it up so Bev can move in. Bev? Yeah, well, she's got to have somewhere to stay, hasn't she? Somewhere she can be locked after. Oh, hiya, love. See down the Legion tonight. Yeah. Hey, tell me, how did your dance marathon go? Oh, don't ask. My partner pulled out due to a domestic situation. The least said, the better. Ah, oh, never mind, eh? 
Would that mean that I get my sponsor money back, like? Oh, yeah. Hey, prize bingo tonight, don't forget. I'll be there. And just on my way round to see the Crosby's. Hey, why don't you get them to come along and have a good night? Well, that's an idea. I'll try. See you later, then. Ta-ra. ta, -ra. ta -ra. Anyway, look. We might have the whole world against us, but that isn't going to stop us getting together properly. Once things are sorted out with your mum. What things? Well, you know, the separation, the divorce. Dad, how can you divorce me, Mum, for Bev? Michael, it's called life, son. Don't forget, I gave your mother 20 years of marriage, but now... Well, it isn't anyone's fault we're splitting up. It's just that... Well, we're completely different people than we were 20 years ago. Yeah, but you and me, Mum, aren't just husband and wife, are you? You're our Mum and Dad. I know that, son. And the last thing I want to do is lose any of you. Listen, why don't you come down to Legion tonight for the pints? We can have a game of snooker or something. Is Bev going to be there? She will be, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll see how it goes, eh? See ya. Yeah. Tonight, maybe, eh? Oh, you're about to go, are you? Just packed up for the weekend. Why? Did you need something? Well, sort of. I'm speaking at a conference in Leeds tomorrow. They've asked me to put together an information sheet the delegates can take away with them. And you haven't prepared one yet? Well, I've started. I was wondering if you could help me to finish it off. It'd mean staying behind for a while tonight, though. Well, I'm exhausted, actually. Oh, please. You're so much better at this kind of thing than I am. OK, I should think I'll be able to do something. I'd better give Mick a ring. Oh, I hope you didn't have anything special planned. No, nothing special. He'll just be expecting me, that's all. We've got the weekend. Expecting company, are we? Oh, what am I doing? I set four places for supper. Me, you, Mum and Max. Force of habit, my darling. So, how are things going with the uh, D-I-V-O-R-C-E? Well, the decree nice is through this week and the decree absolute should be through in about six weeks. And that's it. Have you settled all the battles over the custody of the family, Silver? Mm, pretty much. Max fought hard to get the dishwasher. Mm. Do we know what he's going to do next? Well, he's in the northeast now for a couple of weeks. He's supposed to be moving out and finding himself a flat when he gets back. Well, at least he's in the right business to find a decent place for himself. Mm. It's going to take me a while to get used to living by myself again. Oh. Thank you, Mum. Hello, Pat, love. I haven't dragged you away from the stove, have I? Julia would like a word with your father. Oh, go on through. Ah, look, you're just having your tea. Oh, I bet you're having something nice. Oh, you've sit yourself down, love, and carry on. Don't mind me. I'll only be a jiffy. So, uh, how can I help you, Julia? I've just been talking to Jean, and I've told her all about Butlins, and I've cleared the air. Sorry, I'm late. I was delayed. She's fully convergent with the fact that there were no shenanigans. I'm really glad you've cleared that up. Thank you, Julia. I'm just telling David that I've invited you both to the Legion tonight, so we can get to know each other a bit better. You know, the three of us. Or the four of us, if Patricia would like to go. Oh, why not? You can bring Max as well. The more, the merrier. Um, no, I'm sorry. I've just got a huge pile of work needs doing by the morning. Actually, Julia, we were planning a quiet evening in with Patricia. Well, there we are, then. If she's up to rise in work, well, you've got no excuse, have you? I mean, you won't want your mum and dad under your feet, will you, love? Yeah. Why don't you go, Mum? It'll do you good. You've not been out in ages. There's prize bingo and a little bit of supper and entertainment and Ron Dixon as well. <laughs> oh, and a bit low to mention that there's dancing, you know, after Butlins. Uh, Mum's not too keen on dancing. Well, it's country and western tonight, but we can still manage a little dance. Country and Western, eh? Yee-haw! Sounds unmissable, Dad. Now chastise me if I'm beyond the pale, Jean, but I'm speaking right from the heart now. Your David and myself were absolute stars at Butlins. So I gathered. The thing is, we won through to the national finals. We did very well, actually. Against some very strong competition, remember? Julia, are you asking my permission to take David to the finals? That's right. It's your blessing I'm after. You've no idea how much it would mean to me. Well, I'm sure David's told you I'm not really awfully keen on dancing, but I wouldn't like to stand in your way. 
Oh, Jean, you've made me day. The thousand pounds prize money is as good as ours. We'll have a little practice at the Legion tonight. Well, I'm sorry to have interrupted you, Will. Leave you to get on with your tea. Oh, and you've no need to worry about arriving a bit late. I'll save a couple of seats for you. Oh, I'll be walking on here all the way to the Legion. Well, there's an evening of unbridled joy for you to look forward to, dear. Well, we could just not go. Dad, you can't let her down again. She's harmless, really. And you? You're going to be all right on your own? I'll have to get used to it. You asleep? Right. Just trying to find a muscle that's not aching. <laughs> Do you want to stay in tonight instead of going out? No chance now. I'm ready for the pint. Give me five minutes to have a shower and I'll be right with you. Do you fancy going somewhere else instead of the Legion? I'd rather not have to spend the evening with Ron. Why should we have to change our routine just because he's making a show of himself? Well, if I've got to spend the evening in there, I'm not going to laugh at any of his jokes, all right? <laughs> Nobody ever does. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, did my dad tell you? She's done really well in her exams, all A's and B's. Oh, brilliant. Well done. <laughs> the only bad thing is she wants to do dance in the college. Hey, what's wrong with being a dancer? Never did me any harm. Oh, you know what I mean. There's nothing wrong with it. Just not a proper job, is it? Yeah, but it's what I want to do, though. Yeah, while you're young and fit, love. But in the long run, I think you'd be better off doing a proper course that will lead to a proper career. Dad, I'm old enough to leave school. I'm even old enough to get married. I should be able to make up my own mind about which college I want to go to. Katie, love, this is the real world. You can't carry on wanting to be one of Pan's people. One of you. Just got some dips to keep us going. Oh, great. Do you want to hear some news? Good or bad? Well, it depends, really. I've decided not to accept the offer of a place at Guy's Hospital. OK. Well, I talked to the people at Ucca and I told them how things were at home, you know, with my mum being on her own, and they let me change to Liverpool. But I thought you were really keen to study away from her. Yeah, well, um, I thought it would be better to stay here. Oh, well, that'll please your mum. Mm. I'll open the wine. Oh, it's, um, cider, actually. Uh, great. Cider. Should I have got wine? No, cider's fine. That's a change. Well, it's just I don't really know much about wine. I wouldn't have known which to get. Not much to choose between them, really. <laughs> Listen. Beth. Has anybody said anything to you about us seeing each other? Not that I've heard. Nothing about me. No? Why, well, you're not going to turn out to be some sort of werewolf, are you? No, of course not. Not really. <laughs> I, was, I was just wondering. All right. Hiya. Sorry to interrupt. It's OK, we were just chatting. Didn't know you'd be in. I'm supposed to be meeting Keith in town. What were you saying? Believe me, our fella. What's he done now? I've just seen him swanning off down the Legion with Bev on his arm, in full view of everyone. He's making a show of himself, me and his family. Have you tried talking to him? Yeah, well, he won't listen. Or well, maybe you should try again. Yeah, well, maybe I will. I'll leave you two to it, shall I? Try and catch him down the Legion. Drink. Um, pineapple lemonade, please. Julia? 
Oh, yeah, lovely, thanks. Um, I'll have a port and them, and then if you go into a spare. <laughs> Ooh, everyone will think of moving up in the world, fraternising with the compere that is, um... <laughs> His friends? Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> Ooh, I hope they don't think it's fixed if I win the bingo. It's funny how people always go for the same table. So I've been Dixon sat on that table for years. Got to join us then. You're already sitting there. Oh, great. Have a good night out, Dave. Hope so. Oh, hi. Hi. Look, uh, I feel a bit guilty about you doing all this on your own. Well, you can check over some of the stuff I've done already, if you like. Oh, great. This is very good of you, staying behind like this. Well, I'm still pretty new to the job. It's good for me to have to work under a bit of pressure. Yes, well, your talents have already been noted by a couple of the company directors. You're kidding. No, I'm not. It's true. And so they should be noticing you. Uh, That's where I'm up to. Excellent, excellent. You're really very good at this, you know. I don't know who I would have ended up with if you hadn't applied for the job. Well, I, I've still got a long way to go yet. It's really nice to be able to work closely with someone that you respect and like. This is very good. Thank you. Maybe we should stay behind to work together every night. Oh, well, looking for Sean. 13. Started your cards. Best of luck now, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, your last one we call was 13, folks. On we go. 3 and 1, 31. Second column of number 13. The secret is to keep up. I wish they'd make the numbers a bit bigger. I've come without my reading glasses. I say, I'm doing rather well here already. Oh, sorry. What do I do when the numbers are all crossed off? I'll just give in two, in two. Oh, right. Going well there. Eh? I don't know how she's got the nerve to me. I was invited. Now you're sitting in Dee Dee's seat. Well, Dee Dee isn't here, is she? Oh, we all know who small that is. Why don't you just start living your own life instead of living mine for me all the time? Uh, I'm sorry about that, ladies and jelly spoons. I thought we had a house call there. Can we have it nice and quiet now, please? Oh, they'll have us all shot talking during bingo. Best of all, the please, thank you. Shh, shh, shh. Sorry, sorry. Right, as we were, on we go. By itself, number nine. Is it warm in here or is it just me? Do you want another drink? I can't, I'm driving. I'll have a five, drop of lemonade top that up. Seven and five. Seventy-five. Chewing. Eight. Twenty-eight. Could you be me mum's grave as fast? Three. Yeah. <coughs> Sweating on two numbers here. Three and one. Thirty-one. Don't you have family, don't you? Best of order now, please. Thank you. Just stop making a show of yourself, anyway. Leave it on, Look at you. All just sitting here with him. I'm sorry about this, boys and girls. Look, can we just finish this house with peace and quiet, please? Thank you. Get on with the game. I can't believe this. Right, leave it out. This is not the place. Sit down. Sit down. Can't hear. You know what he's done, don't you? He's moving in above the shop. Forum 2, 42. I only want number six. Number six. Oh, number six. Number eight. Eight and three. She doesn't even know his baby. She's having. Steady on. Oh, slag. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have to declare this game void. Stan, thank you. Get some music on, please. Michael, let's get out of here. I told you we should be caught. Excuse me. Just got my ladies. Oh, never mind, eh? And we're all just sweating on one number each. Is it always as quiet as this? No. Sometimes it can get quite lively. Do you think we ought to go and see if they're all right? Oh, I'm sure they'll manage without us. Anyway, they'll be bringing the individual hot pots around in a minute. Well, then maybe you and me can have a dance. It makes a change to get so much privacy in this place. I always used to think you were going out with Annie, you know. Lots of people did. Have you had a lot of girlfriends? Not many. How about you? What about boyfriends? 
Yeah, I've had loads. Have you? No, not really. <laughs> oh, that's the last of it. There's a bottle of wine in the fridge. Shall I open it? You trying to get me drunk? No, honestly. Just thought you might fancy drinking something else. No, I'm all right as I am, thanks. Sure. Quite sure. You know, I'm glad I'm here with you. It's not like being with boys of my own age. I don't know, you make me feel older than I am. Do you know what I mean? I think so. My gun, is he? Yeah, he has. He's lucky he's still in one piece and all. The lad was upset, Ron, you can't blame him. Is she okay? She's got a gob on her, but she'll be okay. Are you gonna phone them? I swear, I reckon. Yeah, I'm sorry about tonight. Look, Frank, would there be any chance of you dropping Bev off? She's a bit shaken up, and I've got to get this bit all restarted. I suppose so, yeah. Cheers. You okay? So, what did Ron have to say for himself? He wants to know if he could give Bev a lift home. <laughs> I hope he said no. Come on, good night. She's upset. You'll be all right, love. Frank said he'd drop you off. I'm sorry to spoil your game. Come on. It's only a stupid bingo session. I mean, nobody died, did they? See you tomorrow. Yeah, good night. I'll have to get this game on the go, otherwise it'll be another riot. Never been so ashamed in my life. Let's just get Bev home, OK? You made a holy show of yourself coming here tonight. I was invited. Let's get home. Oh, you can do what you like with her. Lynn. I'm getting a taxi. I'm sorry if I've ruined your night. Let's just get you home, okay? things, you know, first time together, properly. It's all right. I'm not ready to stop and think about how far things should go. Yeah, that's right. I just didn't want to rush you. Oh, thanks for thinking about what I'd want. I, I don't mean I don't want to. I just mean not yet. You know, with things being the first time. I don't want things to get too heavy. It's OK. That's how I feel. I just didn't want you to think that I was, um... that I was forcing myself on it. You. you wouldn't do something like that. Arlen's never forgiven me for splitting her and her first husband up. She's a big sister. She just worries about you. Frank! Frank, you're gonna hit him! Watch yourself! Watch yourself! Ah! I'm not. She's very young. And pretty. I suppose I'm just too old for what you want. I was just giving her a good night kiss, that's all. It looked a lot more serious than just a good night kiss. Yeah, well, Beth and I might be seeing each other again. Right. So, uh, I suppose. Everything you said to me the other day about not wanting to get involved with anyone. That was just to let me down gently, was it? <laughs> I didn't know then that Beth and I were going... It's fine. I understand. You don't have to explain. I'm just not good enough for you. Well, quite honestly, I'm surprised you're even bothered. You've got plenty of boyfriends already, haven't you? Maybe too many.
Frank. Frank, I think I'm bleeding. Oh, Frank. to you. She gave me this pamphlet thing. It's there somewhere. That's it. How to survive a heart attack. Exercise and diet in there. So much for our health kick, eh? That's another fine mess you got me into. Oh, it can't have been that, Frank. The doctor reckoned they could have been. Not building the exercise up slowly enough. I did go over the top a bit, you know. And my sister's antics didn't help much, did they? I don't blame Ellen. Well, I don't see why not. The stress she's put us under. And that flare up down the Legion with Mike Dixon. Hey, Dad. Hi, love. Hi, Casey. Hey, Dad. Hi, love. You're all right. How is he? It was only a minor heart attack. I can't still talk. Who the fool is it, eh? Me. Heart attack. Hey, should you be doing that? Well, I can't go around with wet hair all day, can I? Well, I'm not so sure you should be going around doing anything. Come on, back into bed. You coming then? Where? To bed. Just for a cuddle, no naughties. Come on. I'm all right now, honest. Stop bleeding. The doctor says I'm all right. Feel this. He's not going anywhere. He's just like his dad. A stubborn little devil. Who is he now? Hey, what about your mum? She won't be back for ages. She's gone to Wooten Show for the day. God, listen to me. I'm like a 15-year-old worrying whether your mum's going to come up and cop us. <laughs> hey, your hair's wet. Mm, that's what happens when you wash it. Mm. Come on, enough of this. Come on, get it dried. Don't want you catching a cold. <sighs> You're an old fuss pot, you are. You're going to start wrapping me in cotton wool now, are you? Too right I am. And for the start, no arguing, right? And you're not coming back to the shop, not till you're 100%. Couldn't you get Simba to do that, Mum? He's done enough for us. You know what he's doing now? He's written this protest letter against planning permission to build on at the back here. He's got it all organised. He's even talking about getting a residence meeting set up. Oh, yeah. I think he fancies you, Mum. Don't be so daft. Sinbad? So, what about this afternoon then, eh? It'd be nice for the three of us to do something bank holiday ish together, wouldn't it? Rachel fancies the Albert Dock. Um, well, actually, Peter and I were thinking of going to Southport this afternoon. Oh, right. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, you don't mind, do you? I really like him, Mum. I can talk to him about anything. 
Serious things, stupid things. Anything at all. Is that what you were doing last night, talking? You were very late back, after one. Oh, I get it. This is the condom speech coming up, isn't it? <sighs> no, but I really think we ought to talk before you... Well, before... Before I what? Before I sleep with him. Well, honestly. I know how to look after myself, you know. Yes, but... Listen, if you want to do the serious mum bit, I'd try talking to Rachel if I were you. Rachel's all right, she's fine. Yeah, but... Have you ever tried talking to her about the night that Dad was in a bed? I can't. Mum! If she wants to talk... It's no use stirring things up, Beth. She's all right. Okay. I'll carry on. You're doing great there. Look, uh, I'll join them if you like. Okay, fair enough. Right, uh, let's get started, eh, boys? Listen, um, if you're not going to join in, then maybe you and your mates could take a drink somewhere else. See, the number 12s are booked in for this session. I don't want any trouble, lad. Hasn't anyone taught you any manners, Salter? No, mate. Go on, get out. Is he causing trouble? No, no, no. He's just doing some volume with the lads, you know. Toe rag. Poor old daddy. Oh, he's not old. Oh, no, I didn't mean old. Old. Oh. Well, well, people have heart attacks in the twenties, don't they? I mean, it doesn't mean they're going to die. It just means, well, they're going to have to change their lives a bit. I don't want them to change. I just want them to be dead, like always. You're going shopping on a bank holiday. That you do lead an exciting life. You don't have to come if you don't want to. He's looking a lot better today, though, isn't he? Trouble is, I don't know what to do about dance school now. Dance school? Well, there's an audition. I'm supposed to start the week after next. And what does my dad think about this? He doesn't know. Well, I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. He just said no. You know what he's like. So you did this off, off your own bat? Got yourself a place at dance school? Hey, well done, you. You're pleased to get me. I'm dead good. <laughs> I'm modest. It's a full-time course, so I'd have to do my A-levels later, but I don't mind that. Well, it sounds like you've got it all sorted. Well, I would have done. But I can't go now, can I? I'm not after this. What if you get too upset about it? He has another heart attack. Katie, well, you can't get yourself stuck into something you don't want to do just because you don't want to upset me, Dad. If you want to be a dancer, well, then you tell him straight and make him see that you mean it. Come on. I really like him, Mum. I know. And you needn't worry. I haven't slept with him yet. Do you want me to do anything? Mm, you can wash that lettuce. <laughs> Yeah. The first time that you, you know, what was it like? I was 18. It was scary and exciting and a bit of a muddle. We weren't very good. Was it Dad? No, that was something else. That was nothing to do with love. Your first time hasn't happened yet. I dream about it sometimes. I know. That weight on top of me. And this really... This really... Dirty feeling. I know. Like... I don't want it to be like that, Mum. It won't be. It isn't. I promise. I really don't want to do this, Jimmy. Oh, come on, Bob. There's a favour for me. There's a whole load of things I do for you, love. 
Patients top the list. Drown them comes Prissy I. Skippy and four you behind a bar on a bank holiday one. You doesn't even rate a mention. Thanks, love. All right, Tess. All right, Jim, that's 15 quid to you. Uh, have you got a five, love? All right, James. Hello, man. Hiya, you, Tez. Just want a couple of mags for poor old Frank. Thought I might do a bit of hospital visiting tomorrow. How's he doing? Nah, not too bad, you know. Oh, all okay, good, eh? Hello, love. How are you? Be a lot better if it wasn't for him. Why, right, what have you done now? He's gone and arranged one of these rave night things, and he hasn't got any staff, has he? They've all gone down with the bug. That is the way on business, know what I mean? So guess who's stuck behind the bar all night? Yeah, well, I will go and open up. So I'll see you in there, kid. Yeah, in a minute. Hello, Ron. Oh, yeah. How's things? How's Beverly? She nearly lost it, you know, the baby. Oh, Ron, I'm sorry. Is she OK? Yeah, yeah, she's fine now, but, you know, she's still got a rest, you know. I don't really want to do it anything. So who's been minding the shop for you, then? Well, it's just it, Jack. I keep having to close up. I haven't got anybody. Mm, can't afford to do that too often. Too right, I can't. Looks like I'll have to advertise again. Just open it up, love. He thinks he's in a film. <laughs> the big club boss. Michael Caine or something. He'll be hell working for him. If I'm still married tomorrow morning, it'll be a miracle. See you, love. Ta-da. Hey, you don't fancy coming back to work for me again, do you, Jack? Well, that'd need a bit of thinking about that, Woods. I'll come back for the rest when I know where I'm staying. Anna, let me call you a cab. No, thank you. Well, at least let me give you some money for a hotel. I only take money from men when I've earned it. Goodbye, Peter. And thank you for everything. I am sorry. I've been so stupid, haven't I? You said all the men who come to me are incapable of making relationships will look at you. You're so scared of making any commitment to a real woman. You only feel safe with schoolgirls. Hiya. Sorry I'm late. Goodbye, Peter. and see how things are going here. There's nothing much else, huh? I thought Marianne might be with you. No, no, she's down in London for the Notting Hill Carnival. That's one of the organizers, you know. She's a lovely girl. I'm very bright. Come on now, nice and steady, one more. Does she ever talk about work? No, not much. But I know she's enjoying it, though. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah, she's really ambitious. You're a lucky guy. Yeah, I know. OK, slow down, mate. So, everything's OK, then, is it? Sorry? With you and Marianne, all this extra work she's putting in, it's not causing any problems, is it? What for us, you mean? Well, I suppose it is taking a bit of adjusting to you. Yeah, it uh... does, doesn't it? Yeah, my wife, well, that was a problem, really. That's what broke the marriage up. I was away so much, married to the job, she said. It takes a pretty strong relationship to withstand those sorts of pressures. But I think we can cope. Rock solid, eh? Have you finished the meal yet? Five minutes. Get outside and wait, Salter. Don't take any lip from him. He's trouble. He knows his football. Oh, he's a good athlete. He could be a very good boxer if he bothered bending his mind to it. That's a complete waster. If he doesn't shape up, the board will ban him from here. I shall certainly recommend it. The board? You have trustees. So you're on the board, then, eh? Yeah, well, I represent Grierson's. See, what we're trying to do is get these kids off the streets and into something more constructive than joyriding. Kids like Gary Salty, man. Him? Oh, he's a lost cause. <laughs> but isn't he the type of kid that you should be trying to help? There are some people, Mick, and he's one of them, that just don't want to be helped. It makes me really angry seeing kids like him taking up valuable facilities that could be used by someone worth saving. What are you doing? Turning the water off. Oh, oh no. Where is it? The water. The leak? The leak's not leak. Well, what are you turning the water off for then? 
So we're going to turn the knob full and they're all down the first. They don't have to buy the water at the bar. I won't be critical. You can't do that. I've just done it. You turn that water back on again this minute or I'm leaving. <sighs> Look, love. They do it in all the rave clubs. These kids dance themselves up into such a sweat that they're gasping for a drink and do they go and spend the money at the bar like everybody else? No, they don't. They get the water free from the tap. If I don't do this, we don't make the profits. That's terrible. <laughs> no, love. It's business. And it's little dodges like this that keep you in your housekeeping. Better off working for Ron Dixon again. Joking, ain't yeah? you? That fancy woman of his working in there now. He hasn't. She's putting her feet up for a while. He's just asked me if I want to go back again. Well, I hope you told him where he can stick his job. I didn't tell him anything. But I'm thinking about this. Seriously. Um, there's your receipt in your card, sir. Thanks very much. What are you doing with that lot? I just came to say goodbye. What do you mean? I'm leaving. Well, where are you going? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know, really. Oh, I see. Peter Allison, he's kicked you out, hasn't he? No, no, no. It, no, it was just something he said. Look, you you don't happen to know a cheap hotel in Liverpool, do you? Well, what do you mean we're wasting your money on a cheap hotel for? I've got to find somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to London. I've had no luck in Liverpool. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Look, um, there's a spare bedroom in my place, you know. Oh, no, I... Well, you can get your head down there till Barry comes back from his travels. No, I couldn't. Look, I wouldn't expect... Well, what I mean is, uh, it'd be separate bedrooms and all that. I, you know, I'll help you find somewhere more permanent. Are you sure about this, Terry? I wouldn't be saying it if I wasn't sure. When you're welcome to get your head down at my place, look, there's the keys. Let yourself in. I mean, you know your way around. Make yourself a cup of tea. And, um. I'll be over from the bit, all right. If Peter and me... Do you think I should tell him how I was forced into it? I don't know. I suppose he can't handle it, though. I think I could tell him. I do trust him. What scares me most is that... Suppose we start to make love and then I start thinking about Dad. Maybe I'll never be able to go with anyone. Not without remembering. Mum, how did you feel when you found out what had happened? I didn't want to believe it. I pretended to myself that I'd misunderstood I made excuses and until I couldn't fool myself any longer yeah but how could you ever have loved him how will I ever stop loving him he was so beautiful though so clever all the girls wanted him I was just plain dull, manded up, and the one nobody ever looked at. <laughs> I was never pretty like you. And he chose me. He could have had anybody, and he chose me. And he made me feel so loved, so alive. He needed me. You see, that's what people forget. They say, oh, if my husband did that, I'd never let him through the door again, but... Women like that, they, they don't know what it's like to love someone so much that you don't really exist without them. And I went on believing that the old Trevor, the one I'd married, would come back again. I truly believed he could change. Because he did love me, Beth. No one can tell me any different. And the man we killed, that wasn't my Trevor, that wasn't your dad. He died years ago, and I wouldn't admit it. The man we killed was a monster. Don't let what happened in the past mess up your life now, love.
you think though how long have I got two years ten years well it's the same for everybody <laughs> I could walk under a bus tomorrow but it's not the same it makes you look at life in a completely different way like what's important and what's not and what is being happy being with you come on love we're gonna try and get you walking Talk to her before she's gone. Is she your friend? Yeah. What's going on? She's been drinking. This is your fault. Look at the age of her. You shouldn't be selling kids this age alcohol. Come on, you two. Clear off. We'll sort it. Come on. <sighs> Jimmy, she's out cold. Did you drink more than cold water on me? I would have done if you hadn't turned it off. Better ring for an ambulance. Don't be stupid. Jimmy, she could die of alcohol poisoning. Get an ambulance. Right, then I'll tell you. Come on, use your brains with it. I don't care if you do lose Oscar's license. I'm not having this girl die on me. Jackie, listen, will you? It's not alcohol. She's taken a couple of E's. Probably been sold a dodgy one. What? You mean drugs? Well, how do you mean? I've seen it all before. Goes with the territory, doesn't it? It's a club. It's a rave night. What do you think they were on? Right. Look, you call an ambulance and you'll get the police involved. Don't worry, it's happened before. You stay here, and I'll go and get one of the cabbies to run into the Aussie, okay? Oh, I see. It's a regular occurrence, this, is it? You know all about these drugs, and you don't have to think it's a stop it. It's called policy, right? As long as it's under control, Oscar likes us to turn a blind eye. So you just knuckle under and do what you're told, eh? No, I manage the place, and I know what brings in the profits. What do you think paid for the new carpet in the living room, eh? Hey? And the drinks cabinet? Get real, Jackie. If they don't do it here, they'll do it somewhere else, OK? So we might as well make out of it what we can. Now, you watch her. And if she starts wretching, make sure she doesn't swallow it, OK? I've got a cab lined up. Bottom of page five. Three months. No sex for three months. Is that right? That's what the doctor advises. Oh, well, I'll just have to find a stand in then, won't I? I wouldn't blame you. That <laughs> was a joke, Frank. No, seriously, I wouldn't blame you. I mean, I'm not much of a catch, am I? Dodgy heart. In belief in the next few months. No sex. Do you think I love you for your performance between the sheets? I thought it might help. Listen, I've been thinking. Then. I love you. You know how much I love you. Now, you'd be mad to do it, but... Will you marry me as soon as possible? And have a sexless honeymoon? We can make up for it later, don't you worry. You haven't said yes. <sighs> yes. Yes, Frank. Yeah, I will. Yes. How many times do you want me to say it? Yes. He's back on Monday at the same time. And don't forget our omnibus edition on Sunday morning at 10. Tomorrow afternoon at 1, we brighten rock.